I'm so happy to finally be back. And looking around, I'm not alone in that sentiment either. Maybe it won't last, but everyone's determined to enjoy it to the fullest while they can. After all, who knows what tomorrow will bring. I knew things wouldn't instantly go back to normal, but I didn't expect all that to be thrown on us. silent, we have a firm foothold to take back Heimdall. If we don't seize the moment before the year is up, there's every chance the war will drag on even longer as a result. Fighting is still brutal as ever in Western Erebonia, but if the Nortia and Kreutzen provincial armies keep their word not to interfere, we may be able to turn the war around. Hmm. That does sound like the best chance we'll ever get, but I still have doubts. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. We have no intention of taking an active role in the war. We simply wish to fulfill our duties as Military Academy students. That sounds perfectly fine to me. We aren't asking you to fight on the front lines to retake the city. Rather, we would like you, the students of Thor's Military Academy, to liberate one very specific location. Why? Yeah? And where might that be? I'll be the one explaining that. You're here too? You're from the Intelligence Division. Huh. Hi, Elector. Long time no see. You back from Crossbell? Yep. The most pressing problem over there is all taken care of now. So I was finally able to access the Intelligence Division's network again. Wait a second. Most pressing problem? What happened over there? Oh, you know, that Azure tree is gone. There was a ton of confusion after its disappearance. 
But President Kreuss has been arrested, and things are beginning to calm down. We had no idea. I remember feeling an incredible amount of mana from that tree. Whatever happened there, it's obvious Ouroboros was involved. Regardless of how it came to happen, the fact remains. Crossbell is of no danger to us now. Yet with that comes new dangers on the horizon. What do you mean, Dad? Now that Crossbell is no longer a threat, there's every chance the Calvert Republic might make a move, is that correct? The Republic still has its own share of chaos as a result of their economic crisis and terrorism. But now that there's an opening to take Crossbell, we've no doubt they will recover sooner rather than later. And without Gorelia Fortress to serve as an effective deterrent, there's always the possibility they could use Crossbell as a staging area to launch a military incursion into Erebonia. As a result, our primary concern is ending this war as soon as possible. And we could use your assistance in bringing it to an ever swifter conclusion. I understand the situation. In that case, where is this specific location that you'd like us to liberate? That would be the Corel Imperial Villa. Hey, isn't that... That's the Imperial family's villa on the outskirts of the city, right? Are you suggesting that my family is at the villa? We believe your assumption to be correct, Your Highness. The Intelligence Division has established that His Imperial Majesty and the rest of your family have been imprisoned there. Lady Elise Schwarzer and Imperial Governor Regnitz are also with them. <gasps> Dad's there too? They've been there this whole time? It's close to the capital, but it's surrounded on all sides by cliffs and the like. That makes it the perfect place to keep VIPs hidden away. Exactly. The only way to access it via land is a special train that runs from Heimdall Station, and that is currently heavily secured by the Imperial Guard. However, were your party to use the Courageous to fly there, you should be able to get inside. I think you already know our answer. Yeah, I'm in. If you say they're there, Lecter, then they're there! It's not much different from liberating Ruwer or the Twin Dragon's Bridge, if we think of it like rescuing someone related to us. Indeed. While the Imperial family is naturally of great importance, rescuing a member of the Board of Directors fits our motives to a T. And we've always seen it as our duty to help those related to the Academy. Guess that settles that. Uh, thank you. I truly appreciate it. <laughs> well, aren't we being humble? <laughs> this is what friends do. To hmm. think these kids would turn out to be so dependable. You're telling me. They're almost dazzling. <laughs> Your Highness. May we have your permission to move forward? Yes, by all means! I, Alfin Rice Arner, humbly request that you carry out this mission. Very well, your highness. Students of Thor's Military Academy, I hereby declare that we shall dedicate our all to the liberation of the Corral Imperial Villa. really is strange. For all I know, tomorrow could determine the outcome of this war. And yet I feel completely at peace. Just being back here, seeing the sky, and being surrounded by this cool air, makes me feel so happy. Why? You're not planning on standing here alone the whole night, are you? Oh, hey, Selene. Hey. Where's Emma? Knows. I'm guessing she's over in the literature club's room. One of the second years dragged her off. Something about checking if any of her precious book collection had vanished. <laughs> that would be Dorothy. Huh. I don't know. I could wander around, but my head's kind of full at the moment. It's like it's suddenly registering just how much this academy means to me. I knew I liked it, but never realized how much. Oh? Yeah. Well, whatever you end up doing tonight, with 
both Vita and Ouroboros involved, you haven't seen the worst this war has to offer. The hardest part's yet to come. And you don't want to face your friend in the goofy bandana weighed down by regrets, do you? True enough. Oh, hey, are you here because you were worried about me? You've always been so considerate of us, even if you do try to hide it by acting grumpy half the time. Into, try treating someone special for once. Surely there's someone who fits that description better than me. Someone special, huh? This could be the last night you have to enjoy before everything goes to hell. Go and walk around a bit already. Oh, and go pay Valimar a visit too. Huh. Honestly, anyone with half a brain could have figured that out. Why do I have to be the one to tell you? I suppose she's right. It seems a shame to waste a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity standing around here alone. Besides, it's been a long time since I was last here at the Academy. I should walk around and see everyone. I've got a lot of catching up to do with the people in Trista. And after Valimar offered to stand guard near the west exit, it wouldn't feel right to leave him by himself the whole night. Hey, Valimar. Hello, Reed. I came to see how you were holding up. Sure was a surprise when you offered, but thanks for volunteering to serve as a lookout. Uh, not a problem. Perhaps you and your friends have influenced me to some degree. Each and every one of you have come a long way to take this place back. I simply wish for you to be able to dedicate this evening to celebrating that achievement. <laughs> Thanks. You know, looking back, I never figured the day would come when I'd be able to have a natural conversation with you like this. You've changed a lot in that regard. You've gone from sounding mechanical to... dignified, I suppose. I've been working to gradually recover my memories over time. And while still fragmented, I am now able to recollect specific memories from my past. But really does that mean you remember some of what happened before you went to sleep in the old schoolhouse? Correct. I went to sleep 250 years, 128 days ago. And my previous awakener was a man known as Drakel's Rice Arner. Wow. Wow. So it really was Drakel's, huh? 
had my suspicions when I saw that memory in the last shrine, but I didn't want to assume. I believe you resonated with the memories that reside within the proving grounds. Dracul's visited the spirit shrines as you did. In each one, he obtained the same core with which to forge his weapon, advanced upon the same capital. And it was there, with many allies at his side, that he laid the war to rest in one final confrontation. It's kind of eerie how similar our paths are, but it makes me feel a little self-conscious too, in a way. I doubt we're doing all this half as well as he did. What kind of person was he, anyway? Hmm. He was an open-minded, composed, and driven man, full of bravery and daring, and in some ways, an enigma. Yet for those he met, he was ever kind and merciful. He had dignity in measure with his stature, and still at times, one could see in his eyes the glimmer of a child's. <laughs> he was really something, wasn't he? Hearing you talk about him, I don't know if I could be anything like he was. But maybe if I were, I'd be able to do more for everyone. There is little need in striving to be something like you are. Huh? Since my awakening, I have watched over you. I have seen you grow as a person. Dragon's found success in playing to his strengths. You, though different, possess strengths no less great. Just as he attracted his own supporters, so too have you gained those who would choose to stand by your side and know or take pride in those who would become your sword. For not even kings can buy the world to you of her. Uh. Thanks, Valimar. You're right. I should focus on improving myself as I am, rather than try to become someone I'm not. Seeing as how I'm fighting for my future and to bring home my friend, it wouldn't make sense to be anyone else, really. Oh, yeah. It sounds like the Tachi will be done by morning. So, if you're up for it, I think we should test it out tomorrow. I'll be counting on you, Valimar. I shall do all within my power. Oh, you guys are all up here? Hi, Ring! Hello, Dawn. Hey! Nice night, isn't it? Uh, it's a little on the chilly side, but it still feels pretty nice since there's no breeze out. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, got to admit, seeing it again's making me feel all emotional. <laughs> and no doubt. Especially since, unlike the rest of us, you guys were last here during the festival. The 
probably feeling lonely with Crow missing. Toa, George, Angelica, I want to thank you. Huh? What for? You guys have helped us out so much. There's no way we could have gone that far without you. If it were just us first years, I don't think things would have gone half as well. So, on behalf of everyone here, thank you. For everything you've done. <laughs> we should be the ones thanking you. Yeah, think about all the work Class 7 put into this and try saying that again. Exactly. You guys even helped me deal with my old man. Where would I be without you? I guess. But for the record, we've needed you just as much as you say you need us, you know. You shouldered the most responsibility on the Courageous, the ship that carried us and our dreams this far. And I'm gonna need you to keep watching our backs tomorrow. You think you can do that for us? <laughs> like you even had to ask. We'll be right there with you. We would never abandon you after we've come this far together. Thanks. I get this feeling like tomorrow's going to mark a turning point for us. Whether the Imperial Army's operation is a success or a failure, it feels like the time for me to fight Crow is almost here. That's true. Yeah, he won't let a chance like this just waltz on by. And this time, I'm not going to let him win. I'll beat him, drag him right back here, and force him to finally graduate with you. You sure that's even possible, Rain? That's not going to be... I'm well aware that it won't be easy. But everyone, not just me, wants the four of you together again. Class 7 managed to reunite, right? Now it's your turn. You're amazing, Rain. And if you say that's what you're gonna do, I've got no reason to doubt you. Good luck! <laughs> Tomorrow's operation is sounding crazier by the minute. Seriously, I better hope I can finish polishing off that Tachi.
It's hard to believe we're finally back. But here it is. Our old dormitory. I guess I'll have a little walk around for old time's sake. This room's just how it was left, too. Seeing it so tidy and empty like this, it's almost as if Crow was never even here to begin with. But he was, and I'll never forget that. He lived here in this dormitory, in this room, and as a part of Class 7. You just wait, Crow. We're coming to get you. For the sake of everyone you left a mark on, for the sake of everyone who cares about you, and we won't fail. With Falamar, with all our friends, and with the whole academy behind me, I swear we won't fail. You're coming back with us, whether you like it or not.
students have gathered. Understood. <laughs> Don't you worry. We'll take good care of them. Just leave them to us. Foundation of the land. be with you all. And please, come back here safe and unharmed. Our objective is to rescue His Majesty the Emperor, as well as those who were captured with him. Everyone, move out! Right! Oh,
Fourth Armored Division, charge! Third Armored Division, advance! Yes, yes sir! sir. Division's sterling reputation is well deserved. I would have preferred a fight with the two of you in Soldas, Craig the Red and Nightheart the Mighty. But this is how the winds have decided it must be. Besides, what fun would it be if our battle ended so easily? May we enjoy our feast of battle to its fullest! the spirit of the Imperial Army! Onwards, Nightheart! Roger that, General.
Is she even human? This is the power of the Golden Rakshas. My, my, this is disappointing. Oh, please tell me this is some sort of joke. I came all the way here, and yet this is all the great one-eyed Zex army can do? I'll be rather disappointed if we finish this without me even breaking a sweat. Damn you! You haven't seen anything yet! That's enough of your childish taunts. At last, my dear master shows himself. But what a pity. I was hoping you'd get yourself a sword out and fight me with your swordsmanship. Swords have their place in the world, just as armies do. I don't intend to rely on the Vander name on a battlefield such as this. I never expected for you of all people to cooperate with Duke Cayenne's scheming. What reason would possibly inspire you to raise your blade for his cause? <laughs> what else? I wish to be known as the strongest warrior who ever lived. Stronger than even the famed Lance me. <sighs> I am the one who excelled at both the Arsade and Vander schools of swordsmanship. First, I will defeat the man who taught me the Vander style. You. And once you have fallen by my sword, I shall take down the Radiant Blade Master himself. <sighs> I raised a real tigress, didn't I? But you would do well not to assume victory is within your grasp. All units, assume the two headed dragon formation. Limit the enemy's movement! Surround and annihilate them! Yes, yes sir. sir! What's that noise? Is there a battle going on nearby? Mm. Citizens of Heimdall! Citizens of Heimdall! Trainers who wish harm upon His Majesty are approaching. I would please remain inside until they have been eliminated. I repeat, please remain inside until they have been eliminated. If you want to eliminate the traitors, you can start by offing yourselves! Yeah! The nobles are the real traitors around here! Why are you all gathering outside? Didn't you hear the announcement? Get inside at once! God. Oh, crap. Heard this sound before? Oh, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Prince Oliver's airship? It's the Crimson Wings! The Courageous is here! Stop! Stop this commotion, I say! Get confirmation from HQ, now!
This is Corral Imperial Villa? It's gorgeous. Hard to believe a place of such scenic beauty is so close to the capital. Yeah, I didn't know a place this pretty was nearby either. Imperial Guardsmen me. and two armored cars approaching. <laughs> that didn't take long. Class 7, Group A, advance towards the villa. Group B, keep watch on the situation up front while securing the area. Yes, yes ma'am! Ma Commence the operation. Group A, Hello. let's go! Alright!
He's ahead! We'll have to fight! My turn! My blade will cleave ignorance and light the way!
burning daylight. <laughs> nah. We're outside again. There's a nice pavilion out here. Huh, that treasure chest looks really nice. Enemy sighted. Let's take him out. Here I go. Leave it to me. Here goes. Right. Arcus activate. Nasty down there. Yeah.
watch out! This is a tough one! My turn! Sit! Okay! Here goes! Here I go! Arcus, activate! Huh? It's my turn! Arcus, activate! Let's move! Burn to ash! Fall! Cut! Leave it to me! Stay focused! 
focus! Let's move! My plate will cleave the drinks and light the way. care of them. Let's keep going.
Here they come! Stay focused! My turn! Activate. Leave it to me. Great! <laughs> 